So now that the timing is verified, you have to go back and run through that whole process that we went through. There's a bunch of videos on finding top dead center and checking the clearance with feeler gauges and everything. So I'm just gonna run through that again. You can reference that. So I'm gonna spin the crank back to top dead center. So hopefully everything is between 10 and 12 now on the exhaust. They were all between like three and seven. So I'll get back to you and let you know. So I'm super relieved because I don't wanna have to take that those camshafts out again. And I'm not gonna have to because I went back and checked. All the intakes are exactly like they were. I didn't modify any of these. They were all at a five thousandths would go in and a six wouldn't across the board. Cylinder three through one. And then on the exhaust, there's a whole video if you wanna see how to do all these calculations and it's in my playlist, how to adjust and check the valve clearance. Basically on all of these, I could fit in an 11, across the board, 11, 11, 11, 11, a 12 wouldn't quite fit. I did to get to this one, which is interesting because the theoretical number was 0 0.0106. And I rounded that off to 11, but a 10 will go in, but very loosely and I can't fit in an 11. So I'm gonna actually call it 0 0.0106 because it slid in fairly easily. So you know it's not exactly at 10, it's a little wider. And if you look at the exact tolerance on the exhaust valves, it's 0 0.0102. I was just routing that off to 10 because I didn't want to remember this little digit forever. So if I'm at 0 0.0106, I'm within tolerance. And all these other ones were 11 plus a little bit. So I should be very close to what we need. I'm definitely not going to take it apart for four ten thousandths of an inch. All right, I'm super excited. Go up and edit these videos, and then I've got to get the whole bike back together. So I started off with a clean bench, and after this little job of trying to get these camshafts back in, here's what my bench looks like. I'm going to clean this up before I start tomorrow, and then I can carry on to the next project.